Hello and welcome to another edition of Chemo Toaster Video Magazine. I'm your host, Jake Vickers. In this edition of Chemo Toaster Video Magazine, we're going to cover a topic that uh, some people have asked me off the mailing list, and that is how to set up a SSL enabled SMTP service. Now, SSL, um, a lot of people on the list will probably tell you that it's going away, it's defunct, uh, it's no longer valid, uh, it's not the way to do things, and that may be the opinion, but you'll find that a lot of services still use SSL for their SMTP, uh, and even their POP3 and IMAP and things like that. A lot of times it's just easier to set up. I understand TLS uh, is supposed to be easier to do, um, but SSL, it's been around for a long time, and it's uh, well a little more prevalent in the uh, real world. That being said, we're going to set up a SMTP service that uses SSL, and we're also going to put it on a different port. Now, it's kind of not, it's kind of, I'm not really sure there's a rule for it, but normally your uh, SMTP services that are on uh, using SSL are going to be on port 465. And we're going to continue with that tradition ourselves here and uh, put it on for, uh, port 465. Uh, so this one's going to be quick and simple. We're going to show you how to set up a new SMTP service, enable SSL, and put it on port 465. Um, I'm going to use the same uh, video that I've been, or uh, uh, machine that I've been using in a lot of my previous videos. Uh, and that was a real quick uh, how to install Chem uh, Chemo Toaster using the uh, sent QMT5 ISO. So we'll go ahead and we'll get logged in here. Okay, now that we're all logged in, the first thing we need to do is we need to stop QMail. Because we want everything to be off at this point. Uh, next we're going to go into slash var slash QMail slash supervise and we're going to do a quick directory listing here uh, you can see that this is uh, the machine that I used for one of my previous videos where I set up the blacklist and whitelist you can ignore those if you don't have those uh, that's perfectly fine because we're just wor worrying about SMTP in this uh, and we're going to do cp-rp SMTP and we're going to copy that to SMTP-SSL. Basically, we're just going to make an exact copy of the SMTP directory into the SMTP-SSL directory. That should only take a second. Then we should go into SMTP-SSL directory. Make sure we do have some files here. And then we're going to edit the run file. And in here, uh, we're going to add... SMTPS equals one, and then export SMTPS. So we'll give you kind of a, I'll leave this on here for a second so you can kind of see what uh, what we've done so far. And you can probably go in, you could probably remove the blacklists because uh, you're not really going to need to blacklist your own users. I'll leave that entirely up to you. I'll take it out for the purpose of this video. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Uh, we're going to go ahead and increase the soft limit. Uh, let me make sure we do need to increase it. Uh, it should be pretty good where it's at. Um, if that's your default is uh, uh, 20 million there, you should really not need to change that. Uh, the last thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to change the TCP server line. Just make sure we have some the options set correctly here.
We're going to change his SMTP to 465 because that's the port we wanted to run on. Normally it would run on the uh, SMTP port, which everyone knows is 25. Okay, down here we're going to go ahead and remove the RBL and SMTPD blacklists, uh, which actually you can go ahead and wipe it out here too. Uh, now these are just uh, environment variables, uh, so you don't have to wipe them out, but for simplicity I'll go ahead and take them out. Okay, and we're good there. We'll save and we'll exit. Okay, now we need to go into, uh, we need to edit the file under log run. And we need to change this line here. And we're just going to add a dash SSL. Oops. Let's try that again. We're just going to add a dash SSL there so that we can put the logging into a different directory. That way if we do need to troubleshoot our SMTP SSL, we can. Okay, we'll save and we'll exit there. Uh, at that point we can do Kmail CTL start and bring it up. You can do a stat. And you can now see we are logging on the SSL directory. We'll scroll up a little bit here. And you can also see we now have the SSL service up and running. Now you can verify that you are, well, I mean, we, we see it here that it is working. Um, but we can also uh, double check that by doing uh, a net stat dash, uh, let's see, nat p and we'll pipe that through grep and look for 465. And you can see here that we are listening on port 465 for uh, any TCP connections. Uh, now the last thing I'll warn you is you want to go ahead and double check your IP tables rules. Uh, you can see here I do have some in place. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, mine are not going to include uh, port 465, so you'll need to actually go through and open that port back up. Now, if you're running the uh, Chemo Toaster ISO, that's really easy. You can go into your slash Etsy slash rc.d directory, and you'll see, oh, it's not there. We'll check out where I put the firewall file. I thought I put it in the Etsy directory. Or I just might not be running a firewall on this particular one. Uh, but anyway, as it uh, updates my database here, uh, what you'll want to do is you want to go through and make sure you have port 465 for TCP services open in your firewall. Otherwise, all this work you just did to enable an SMTP service for port 465 is, well, it's not going to work because you don't have a port uh, open in your firewall to allow that. Okay, I guess I removed it in this particular one. And that's okay. Uh, like I said, uh, you just need to, normally in the ISO, I believe you go to the uh, slash etc slash rc dot uh, d directory, and you'll find a file in there called firewall dot rule set. And you can just go in there and edit the file and uh, basically add the port you want to open. Uh, so that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, that's going to conclude this video. You, at the end of this video, you should now have an SMTP service up and running using SSL. We thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next week.